we go. We're about to head over to Ronnie's and work on the BMW. I'm just here looking at my sticker collection. I like stickers a lot. I'm a big fan. <clears throat> I've ordered lots of car stickers from lots of places like uh, the Phantom Drive Club and Harsh Style, Car Drugs. Got some really cool ones here like After Hours. This is a custom one that a buddy did for me. Transformer on a bomb. It's pretty dope. Anyways, there's six star oil eaters, super guys. Anyway, we're about to head over to Ronnie's and uh, do some work on his BMW, the E21. We still haven't got it started, so what we're going to do is we're going to head to O'Reilly's and get some spark plugs. And hopefully, these spark plugs will be the key, the missing link, as it were. We're also doing a compression test on the BMW. <coughs> Once we get done with the compression test and uh, trying to fire it up with the new spark plugs, we're going to move on to the 240SX and see what's wrong with it. It's got a clunking noise underneath, and I'm hoping to drift it a bit this spring uh, in lieu of the RX-7 being done. That hurts my feelings, but it's my own fault. Hopefully I'll have the RX-7 done before spring drifting time, but... You know, I said that last year and the year before. Anyways, let's get on the way. We're going to go pick Ronnie up. So I'm making that long trip to Ronnie's house right now. Um, I don't know. It's literally like two and a half miles from my house. Here we are, Ronnie's. Let's see what he's doing in here. I know what his dogs are doing. They're barking. These are the most annoying dogs. They're tiny and they bark a lot. Go and get. Go and get. Weird. Barky dogs. Let's see if he's out here at the garage. Every time I come over here, there's always like another interesting car here. I say interesting, it's another Subaru. I like that wheel fitment. Looks pretty good. And interior's pretty clean. I wonder whose car this is. Well, Ronnie's not in here. Start for us today, baby. Who's WRX is that? It's an STI. It's an STI. It's an STI. It's an STI. I mean, it's a WRX STI. <laughs> um, that's how we're paying for the cold hard by. Oh, really? Yeah. What are you doing to it? Does that take a while? No, I'm already done. What? How long did it take? Um, uh, hour and a half, two hours aside. Dang. That's not too bad. to charge for something like that? I charge them 200 bucks plus parts. So 220? That's not bad at all. Oh, I mean the only parts I had to give was a <clears throat> brake clean because he bought the gasket, so I didn't have to worry about that. Oh, okay. Yeah. Mine's coming up where I'm going to need like timing, water pump. Oh, okay. We can do it. It's pretty easy. We can make I've a video on it. I, I, there's no like good video online on like how to do a timing set on one of these motors. Like there's no good video. No way. Yeah. Like they're all, they're, they're out there, but they're just not that good and they don't really like show you the tips and the tricks. To it's, make it easy. It's 2019, dude. Yeah, We're so in the future. It's like we'll, that stuff should be there. Yeah, we'll knock that shit out. Awesome. So anyways, that's cool. Because I'll probably do everything. I'll probably do... Yeah. I don't know. What else would I do? Probably spark plugs. Yeah. Like, I don't know. Water pump, oil pump. Is that something you do? Um, I mean, we can do an oil pump. I've never done an oil pump. But Ronnie knows a lot more about uh, WRX <laughs> stuff than I do. Subaru stuff in general. It's... Uh, I it's, just drive it. <laughs> it's... From what I understand, the oil pumps ran off the crank. There's a gear on the crank, it runs off that. So, I mean, we can do it. Once okay. you pull everything off, it's right there. When you get a timing kit, it'll come with a water pump. Um, it'll come with all new pulleys for your timing gear and everything. I've been thinking about doing an oil pan baffle, the STI okay. oil yeah, pan yeah, yeah. baffle, 
Um, you just buy an STI oil pan and put yeah. it on? Okay. Well, I mean, I have, my oil pan is the deep oil pan. It's the STI oil pan. Okay. Just because, I, I think either 2007s or the wagons, one or the other, is the reason why it has, it already has the deep sunk uh, okay. oil pan. It just, uh, so I've got the long pickup and everything. I mean, I guess I could get a reinforced pickup. Yeah, so, honestly, like, if you're gonna spend some money, you might as well just get, like, a Killer B tank, uh, whatever it's called, oil pan, and a Killer B pickup. Is their pickup made specifically for their pan? No. No, I have a Killer B in my car. Okay. But I, ne I never really, like, planned on tracking my car hard, and I know you like to kind of track this car a little bit. Yeah. So, um, the, just the baffles in it are a lot better. The STI will still get started with oil on a track. Oh, really? Yeah. Yeah, I read that the, uh, the baffle was real bad, like it doesn't have holes on the side, so when you go around like a long, like a long corner, the oil coming down into the engine it just like sits on the side, yeah. it doesn't run down into the pan where the pickup is. And see, the uh, the Killer B one has like, like you know like a, an SR20 baffled oil pan, where it has like the flaps and everything? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, that's exactly how it is. That's pretty awesome. So, the Killer B one's the same way. Are really... the baffles built into the pan, or do they yeah. only sell them with the pan? I think they're built in. Oh, okay. Oh, well, I'm not opposed to that. So, I'm not opposed to buying a, a new oil pan. The, uh, the oil pickup is expensive. It's like 150 bucks, and then I think the pan's only like 250 which I really don't think is that bad for like an no, aluminum pan that's all welded. Yeah, especially if I play it, it saves my engine. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, a, a, you know, $500 in oil pickup and oil pan and stuff is way cheaper than a $2,500 motor. <laughs> that's true. <laughs> so, did you already tell them we're going to get spark plugs? I told them. All right. I'll we'll see you guys at O'Reilly's. So there we go, O'Reilly's. Auto lights. Good go. Thanks, O'Reilly's. It's time to go get some food. Oh, the shutter didn't open all the way for the thing. Dude, there it goes. Why does it keep doing this? Uh, Levi. <laughs> Probably. Here. Kids mess up everything. They ruin everything. So, anyways, I guess Bo's hungry. So we're gonna go get some snacks. Oh man. Car's locked. Still locked. <laughs> Still locked. Dude, wait. Okay. <laughs> Alright, we'll see you guys at the house. You all leaving? We'll be back. Oh, okay. We just gotta go. I'm out of diapers in the diaper bag, so. We'll see you all in a little bit. Yeah. <laughs> Why do you need to grab you anything? Um. We're also planning on having game night tonight. Cards and stuff, we don't know yet. Uno, Monopoly cards. Spades. Know. Yeah, something, something. Okay, so, if you guys are down, maybe bring dessert. Okay. So, yeah. Dessert. Mmm. You guys got, got dessert. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. What's going on, Bo? Hey, what's up, Ronnie? We've had a lot of people here in the we last We have had hour. a lot of people here. <laughs> uh, it's been like three hours since we got spark plugs. <laughs> hey, so, guys. Ronnie, pre Ronnie uh, repaired uh, a WRX for a guy, and then he repaired another WRX for a guy. He does these little side jobs like this, and uh, when they come over to pick up their cars, they always have to talk for an hour, about hour and a half, about, about all other kind of problems and, you know, other car stuff, and... We have fun doing that, and we just forget where we're at. But this is where we're at right now. Hey, that being said, that being said, watch out, Ted. Jeez, Louise. Hey, Ted. <laughs> that being said, that money's going towards a hard body. Right so on. It made the new, next hard body video possible. <laughs> so be happy that I work on Subarus. I love it. Want to turn around? Where'd you get it? Where do you think? Harbor Freight. Or Amazon. Or Amazon. <laughs> <laughs> Harbor, Harbor Freight, Freight. <laughs> sponsor us. So we're replacing spark plugs right now, right? Yeah, we're going to put in actual new spark plugs. Let's see where that gets us. Ones that are actually right for the car. Yeah. I mean, the old ones were right. They're just, you know, upwards of 20 years old. Yeah, right. I doubt they were replaced when the car was parked. <laughs> Probably right. Does it have wiggly heads too? Yeah. Nice. So, 
these ones are actually right. They have a little unscrewable caps. I don't think I've ever had a car or even worked on a car that takes a spark plug where you where you screw that little cap off. Right, isn't this like some motorcycle crap? It's, right it's like that on my motorcycle, dude, on my Yamaha. This is some motorcycle bull crap. <laughs> Another thing I need to get is locking uh, extensions. Just uh, some tool advice. If you have cheap spark plug sockets, get expensive extensions. <laughs> One's probably good, huh? One plug? Yeah. <laughs> totally good. Sure. So, I think there's a slight chance that this may not work. Slight chance that this may not work. So, if uh, this tell. doesn't work, what are we thinking? I know what we're thinking, but what are you thinking? Me or them? What are you thinking? Burn it to the ground. Burn it to the ground? Not the car, just this. <laughs> Ronnie's worried about this uh, this ancient injection system here. Um, we saw a car at IFO uh, this last weekend running the same injection system. Um, I don't know if they brought it on a trailer or if it ran, if they drove it there. But, <laughs> but uh, it had the same injection system and it was still running. So, I don't know. We're kind of hopeful. But if this doesn't work, I think Ronnie's going to look into a swap. Right? Hate me now. <laughs> yeah, I don't want to deal with the problems. I don't even know if I want to deal with this engine in the first place. Just because it's been sitting so long. Like, I'm sure if it does run, it's just going to pour oil out of every freaking hole that it has. Yeah, it's been sitting for a while. It's been sitting for at least, what, 15 years? Yeah, 2002 is what the plate says, last time it was registered. Yeah, so... so before that. It, it, probably close to 15, 16 years at least. At this point, Ronnie's been changing um, spark plugs for, I don't know, 20, 25 minutes. The third time he's a you know a master mechanic over here <laughs> people pay me to fix their car <laughs> <laughs> yeah that was a good idea hopefully they don't watch this video <laughs> yeah right <laughs> they're gonna be like oh we're paying this guy to do our timing kits <laughs> but yeah he's over here having trouble changing oil <laughs> Well, we've been getting a little conflicting information on the internet as to the distributor order, the distributor firing order, and so what we thought it was, we just took that and made the plugs on the distributor the opposite, just kind of switched them around because we're getting some backfiring out of the intake. And uh, from what we know of this car, there's no reason the timing should be out 180 degrees. But we'll see what happens. So, we've got a lot more stuff to come out back here. <laughs> so it's actually so firing we've actually got the fire going out of the exhaust instead of the intake. I would say this is a plus. So our number one is on the bottom of the uh, distributor. Right here, uh, we had the conflicting knowledge was, okay. or the conflicting advice was that what? one should be up here, and then it goes three, four, two. But we switched it over so that one's down here and we're going three, four, two. Um, it seems to be working better this way with one down here. I don't know. I've, I've never messed with these cars before, so I have no idea. 
go uh, film the uh, exhaust. Try to get a little close, but don't get shot in the face. So we had all this nasty brown stuff firing out of the exhaust while we were trying to crank it. I don't know what effect that has on the car actually firing up. I wouldn't think much unless there was just like a crap ton of back pressure because of it. But uh, it sounded like it wanted to fire up, but uh, it just wasn't doing. Should we do a compression test? I think so. Well, let's do it. Let's see what she got. All right, compression test time. So here's where we are. Um, every cylinder has, um, I think we were 120, 121, 118, and 122, 123-ish. So, we're good on compression. Um, I don't know, Ronnie, what do we do now? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know, at this point, maybe it's time to call the, uh, the old car doctor. The old car doctor. Get him to come down from Tucson. <laughs> Yeah, Alex would definitely know what to do. <laughs> <laughs> he'd be here for 10 minutes, he'd be like, yeah, it's running. What are maybe you guys doing? Maybe Levi. Levi, do you know what to do? Mm-hmm. What do we do you then? You do? What do we do? A lane kick. Oh, okay. <laughs> Y'all got that? That's the secret to getting cars to work. I don't know what he said. What? All right, so here's where we are. Um, we've got the combustion actually coming out the tailpipe now, which I hear is a good thing for cars. Uh, Ronnie's putting the spark plugs back in, and what we're going to do is we're going to loosen up the distributor, move it a little bit while we play, while we shoot some starting fluid in the intake, and Ronnie's cranking. So Ted's going to be twisting, Ronnie's going to be cranking, and I'm going to be spraying. In the tripod's gonna, holding the camera. Yeah, and the tripod's holding the camera. <laughs> if that doesn't work, we can go play some Fortnite, so hit us up. I can get in the video. Alright, right. right. Hey, look who showed up. It's Dominic Molinaro, Marinara. <laughs> what up? Hi. <laughs> Hi, Hi I'm, I'm the shy guy. <laughs> YouTube world, hello. <laughs> Anyways, so uh, no joy on getting the uh, motor to fire up. We tried moving the distributor, we replaced spark plugs, we sprayed starting fluid in it, and then we cranked it over about 5,000 times. <laughs> so, yeah, no good. What's next? I don't know, I don't know. Like. I'm trying to decide if it's worth to keep putting time into this or if it's time to uh, unbolt the hood and start pulling this out and thinking about different, more modern options. This is very interesting that you mentioned this because I was just thinking about asking our viewers what they would like to see in a BMW E21. Um, 454, right? <laughs> iron block, iron heads. Uh, rotary. Path. How about a four rotor, like in the 787B? Maybe a. Uh, I mean, a two rotor. You have a tranny. Yeah, dude. You are a tranny. Hmm. hmm. Uh, what else? <laughs> Maybe a uh, single overhead cam KA, trash motor, trash truck motor. <laughs> I hate that people call it a truck motor. <laughs> That's why I said it, because I know Ronnie hates it, and I hate him. <laughs> So let us know what you'd like to see in our BMW E21. Just don't more than say likely, M10. I'll be pissed. <laughs> more than likely, we're pulling this thing out. Um, it's got it's got a, a little bit of room in the engine bay. It's not huge. I mean, we're not gonna, we're probably not gonna fit a, a a straight six in there. More than likely, it's you know we don't want to do that much work. <laughs> I mean, we could probably stick the radiator inside the core support. I mean, there's a lot of room between the grill and the radiator. Yeah. I mean, there's... It's not like the AC works on this thing or is ever going to work. 
But anyways, uh, that's it. I mean, that's all we wanted to do. We wanted to try to get this thing started today and figure out, you know, what's next for it. So it looks like Swap City. Yeah. I was really hoping it would crank. Just to say that we Yeah, had we all were, even though we didn't want to have to deal with this, uh, replacing these lines or, you know, refreshing up this ignition and freshen up the, the engine because it, it was probably going to leak like a sieve. It was probably going to get pushed out of the way and put on the back burner for a bit. We got other things to do, though. I'm trying to focus on that. Trying to focus on the truck, get it driftable, get it kind of pretty, maybe find some cool I wheels for it. I don't know about pretty. <laughs> I, just, I just want to get like the seat in it, get it standalone, and get it four linked in the rear and coilovers up front this year. Like That's my plan for the truck. Well, those are videos definitely to look forward to. And then maybe toward the end of the year we'll have a, we'll have a swap ready for this thing. Yeah, that'd be cool. Alright, until then, we'll talk to y'all later. Everybody say bye. Ha, ha, ha.